Hello and welcome to episode 50 of my Salem tutorial series. This episode is going to be on us preparing a path to making our own wrought iron bars. Um, I'm sure you are, as well as me, tired of having to keep going and buying uh, lots of different items from the market so whatever we can make ourselves is good now I actually wanted to do an episode on something different today but I couldn't because I needed wrought iron bars in order to do the episode I went to the uh, market and not a single person was selling them so enough is enough I'm sure you'll agree it's time for us to actually embark on making them ourselves and being reliant on only ourselves okay so there is much that we will need to learn and there are many items that we will need to make but we will take it each step at one step at a time the first thing that i want us to learn on a side note is swimming simply because it is a pain when i'm trying to fill up some of these cell shellfish traps now it won't do it typical and it keeps telling me that you need to learn swimming to cross deep water just to fill up the silly trap which is here right next to me so enough of enough enough is enough we will learn the swimming skill uh, what am I doing it's down here which I'll do afterwards there's something else I want us to do that's just so I don't forget to tell you to learn the swimming okay now then on the path to the raw iron bars the first thing that we're going to do is make a carpenter's bench when we learnt the skill joinery and finish that opened up us being able to make uh, an oiling trough, a carpenter's bench and um, the timber piles. On the note of the timber piles be warned that when we eventually get to um, making the finery forge you're going to need lots of charcoal so you're going to need to make lots and lots of coal piles. Um, I used up I think on my other character five large urns making one raw iron bar. Either four or five large urns worth just to make one wrought iron bar. So you're going to need lots and lots. I would say make, yeah, make ten coal piles. Why not? Anyway, so back on track. We need to make a carpenter's... Uh, bench why do we need a carpenter's bench we need a carpenter's bench because we need to make uh, plain boards uh, in our progress to wrought iron bars now to make a carpenter's bench you will need six dry boards and four nails now I don't know where I'm gonna make mine in fact um, my woodworking stuff's been up here so I guess I'll make this up here um, Nowhere's a good place basically. I, there's just never enough room. So wherever I pull it, it's going to be in the way. And we must start on doing vegetable farming soon. Anyway, so much to do. Let's create this um, carpenter's bench. So now I've got to try and find it. Oh, there it is. Right, carpenter's bench. Now, like I say, it's going to get in the way wherever I put it. Oh, that's really annoying. I've got to try and keep it near my other wood items. But it's going to block my walking through the fields. Oh, I'll just, just put it there. can't spend half an hour just deciding where to put it now, for goodness sake. Right, OK, let's build it. So the carpenter's bench will enable us to make plain boards. There's two avenues for that. One avenue for the plain boards is we will need them to make the trip hammer and the finery forge. The second avenue for the planed boards is we will eventually get on in another episode making an oiled trough. So then we can make oiled boards. So lots and lots of uses for it. Okay, there's our carpentry bench. We can now make plain boards. Now let's get on with learning some skills. Okay, the first skill that uh, we're going to need, remember swimming, but the, what I wanted to show you was metal smithing. 
So, you can see it needs a hefty sparks and embers, 4,400 sparks and embers, and a not too shabby 2,900 in hammer and nails, and arts and crafts. I'm going to make it easy for you. Flaming pine cones and lumberwood figurines. Very easy to make lumberwood figurines, and as for flaming pine cones, they are also uh, very easy to get. So there we go, then you can learn metal smithing. Right, okay, once you've learnt the metal smithing skill, that opens up another skill that we now need to learn, which is iron amalgamation. Okay, again, iron amalgamation doesn't need as much sparks and embers, which is thankful. I thought it was going to be about 6,000 the way this game goes. But fortunately, more pine cones, flaming pine cones. For that and mines and mountains, it will do both. For the third one, natural philosophy, we're going to use beetles. Okay, so I'm going to learn this skill on camera, just to show you at least one of them show you how useful these flaming pine cones are they really are fantastic okay we got our stove still burning right so check this out we're gonna get 810 all right it's not a huge massive amount but 810 for sparks and embers and hammer and nails 375 when you mm. learn them for stack at a time mm. you can see mm. that Hmm. gives us a great big chunk of what we need. So I'm only a thousand off of uh, Sparks and Embers. For Mines and Mountains... Oh, Mines and Mountains, all right, it hasn't done that. We can use rocks for Mines and Mountains. I thought that did give us... Uh, but it doesn't. Anyway, let's do another Flaming pine cone, As they really are easy to get. Hmm... Hmm. Okay, that's the sparks and embers done. Um, I don't think there's any point in me even using these. No, there's not. Okay, that's that done. Now let's get the uh, natural philosophy. Which should be two beetles. So 2,700, that's that done. Now the last one, Mines and Mountains. Oh, where did I put the rock shards? All the rocks. Yeah, that's just flint. And one of these, I think I put... Oh, I know I've got a load. But I've also got a huge mess of urns. Now, it just caught me unprepared. I thought the flaming pine cone gave us mines and mountains, but obviously it does not. But fortunately, over here in one of these, I know I've definitely got loads of rocks. There you go. Right, so, gonna need to chew up a few of these, I believe. 475, not too hmm. shabby. We're looking for that to glow green. Hmm. 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 So we needed 2,200. Hmm. 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 There we go. Got it on that one. Right, so let's learn iron amalgamation. What that will do is open up manufacturing of wrought iron. Yay, so there we go. Now, if we go down to here, build, and we go into buildings and structures, we've now got metalworking structures, and in here we have the finery forge. Don't get too excited, we won't be building it yet. And we have the trip hammer. There is absolutely no point in building them yet. Do you know why? Because we now need to learn bellows operation which you can see here it warns you because a lot of people will then rush to building their finery forge just to realize they can't actually do anything we are getting close though that's the good news now to learn bellows operation is a very simple thing indeed it's a flaming pine cone 
a rock, and um, something that's in the shellfish trap. So let's do the rock out the way. Hmm. Cool, I'm chewing through my inspiration. Okay, so that should have given me 475. So where's the mines and mountains? Yeah, so it's given me 475. I've done that one. So now it's the law and laws and sparks and embers. So what we'll do, in your shellfish trap, one of the items that you will get rewarded with is this, a mermaid's purse. And it gives us law and law. Yeah, I know it's well over what I need, 1270, but I just want to learn it, so I'm not too bothered. Hmm. There we go, that's the law and law done. Last one, sparks and embers. Our favourite, the flaming pine cone. So go back into our farmer's house. And do a flaming pine cone. Ah, I'm out of food. That'll teach me for not keeping an eye on it. Shows you though how much I've learnt now. Oh yeah, check out my humours. Um, my yellow bile is 47, my phlegm 45, blood and black bile, I'm going to keep on 40. I am now officially going to do a test. I'm going to get my yellow bile and my phlegm to 50 and perhaps beyond that because it's time for me to get knocked out and get a fracture again. In other words, I'm going to go and try a deer when I get to 50 in yellow bile. Um, if I don't manage it at 50, I'm going to take my yellow bile to 60. But I am eventually going to kill myself a deer. But I will let you know once I officially know. Now, I'm going to leave my black bile and my blood. The reason I want to do this is because when you gobble, as you know, you get this up here and it can be for a long time sometimes the way you can instantly get rid of that is by quaffing a potion an inspirational potion and that's something we're going to be getting to pretty soon because they're rather cool anyway with all my waffling these pine cones mm. are going to go soon so mm. oh there we go let's buy it right i now have the necessary skills to um so exciting for us now to start on making wrought iron bars. I will actually make that the next episode because to um, to make uh, the finery forge, let's go outside because I can't even show you it in here. Oh, let's use these. Why don't I? Mm. Instead of wasting mm. them. Right, okay, to first of all, you need a huge massive open space around your finery forge. So I'm going to be moving these. I don't know if I've ever shown you how to move a bush, um, which is a very useful thing to know. Just left click, you right click on the bush and up left click up root. Now you can see, as I've got my humus up, look how much quicker it is now for me to uproot this bush. So I'm going to put the finery forge here, which is logically next to my forge. You then, you have to make sure though, there's three, going to be three sides to the finery forge with bellows. And you have to make sure that you keep them three sides completely clear, which when I build the finery forge, I will then clear space around the three points necessary. Then not far from that, we will be building the trip hammer which um, again we will need the plain boards for so make sure you start you've got plenty of dry boards because to make plain boards you're going to fail lots uh, trying to make them and burn through your dry boards so I would say do a couple of timber piles anyway this is where I'm going to put the finery forge I've got to get it all prepared ah oh, the last thing that I wanted to show you of course um, which I mentioned first was swimming. This is so annoying um, not being able to fill up my shellfish trap. So what do we need? Need natural philosophy. I will leave it there. No point in wasting your time. 
That's a lumberwood figurine, will get us the arts and craft. Flora and fauna will be a sunflower or another flower. Sugar and spice, natural philosophy is a beetle. Let's just check. I should actually have some of this stuff over here. Yeah, here we go. So natural philosophy, sugar and spice, get both of them with that. Did it give us anything else? No, so, but we've got the first, them two. Now it's just flora and fauna and arts and crafts. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. In the next episode, we will make ourselves a finery forge and a trip hammer. And then we will make a wrought iron bar. How cool will that be? Goodbye.